everybody. Welcome to Girl Talk. We're on the west side of Madison today filming at the Pink Poodle. Later on we'll talk with the owners Joe and Beth Testa about how to do consignment. Their store is a resale store for designer wear, but if you've got some cool stuff in your closet and looking for a little extra cash, this is a, a good thing to check out. Yeah, perfect time of year. Clean right. it out. Mm -hmm. Clean get it out, out with the old and with the new. Maybe get some new boots like Elise. Elise got these from Pink Poodle. New sweater, new pants, new boots. Yeah. The whole shebang. Even the whole earrings, shebang. right? Um, not new? the earrings this time. Last week. Last, last week time. was. Last oh, time we were okay. here. Yeah, mm -hmm. very cool. Just tons of cool stuff. Yeah. I mean, It'd be fun to learn how that works. Yeah, and I'm excited to learn how that works because I've got plenty in my closet that I can <laughs> bring in and you know that's great stuff, but you do get a little tired of it after a season mm -hmm. or, or two. four. Or four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun to it's almost like an exchange. You get to have somebody mm -hmm. else's great fashion and and uh, I'm ready to bring in some of my things. But everything yeah. looks new when you're looking around here. Yeah. Like it's only like gently used things. Right. I brought two yeah. pair of boots and both of them were brand new. Brand new. Yeah. A brand lot new. of the items are, I think, well you know how that is, sometimes you buy something and you have great intentions for it, but maybe it's just not the perfect thing for what you have in your closet. Then you bring it here and it's perfect for somebody else. Or those else. gifts that you get where they mm -hmm. think it's perfect for you and you're like, really? really? <laughs> not even the right size or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, I don't know. I've got a couple pairs of shoes here recently and both of them, I think, were I think they were brand new. I mean, I the sure soles look, like look brand yeah. new. That's mm -hmm. how I can tell. It's like nobody's walked yeah. in these before me. And those are the ones I always get compliments on too, which is fun. <laughs> so I may have worn them a few too many times, but <laughs> never you know, enough. You love. Right you, who, I'm a sucker for a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> who is That's it? That's right. Well, so. it'll be a good place to shop for the holidays. We have holidays coming, and with holidays coming, means food is coming too. Yes. Even just, I made the mistake at. Uh, one of the dime stores, what do you call them, drug stores, um, where I made the mistake of walking through the candy aisle on the way to the cash register. Mm -hmm. All the Halloween candy is in those cute little sizes and it's tempting. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's just the beginning of the season, so. Right. And they call it a fun size. A fun size. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Right. I don't know if my hips think it's so fun. Right. But <laughs> so today we have uh, Tori Penn, the diet doc of Madison, to yeah. give us some tips on weight loss, because I think that's something that's probably affected us all. Everybody's tried it, worked on it, is thinking about it. Right. Yeah. And, and how to get that balance, do things in moderation so that you don't all of a sudden, you know, in March when you go on your vacation and you put your swimsuit on, you don't, you know, have a mess on your hands, right? right. <laughs> or that, that crash diet now all of a sudden. We, so, and if you're nice. going on vacation, you want to avoid going to Moscow. Did you hear about their new city park benches they have there? What's that? Yeah. So, their city park benches when you sit on them, there's a really large screen, I mean big screen, that displays your body weight when you what? sit on it. I know, isn't that crazy? I, um, and do people actually sit on it? I mean, does, it, does it, <laughs> do they get used? We <laughs> only go there with someone else. Is it like the combined the weight of everyone on the bench? <laughs> right. or yeah. like each I guess it probably is. It would be combined weight. You'd be like sitting there going, <laughs> I have a really heavy purse. Right. This My purse a has coat. <laughs> right. I I'm amazed that they're going to replace all of their benches with that. Wow. Why? Why? Um, well, um, I do understand that part of it is sponsored by the local gyms and, and mm. fitness Probably facilities. Fitness. Yeah, right. So when you're sitting there, you'll interesting advertising Could technique. It's like fear based. You know. Right. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. Jeez. Uh, you'll be upset by all the vodka bottles inside the coats. That's right. right. <laughs> My purse is full of bricks, I swear. Yeah. You know, well, maybe yeah. if we put them on our sofas at home, that might uh, help us <laughs> stay yeah. away from that Halloween oh. candy. Goodness gracious. Well, later on we have Brandy's uh, bridal, right? I'm mm -hmm. going to talk about what's hot in bridal. Did you hear about the, speaking of weight, the bridal party that crashed on the pier? No. Oh, this is oh a, yeah. no, I did. I saw a picture of that. Yeah. Wait, what? So yeah. it's a Minnesota, uh, there was a bridal party. They had 20 people all lined up on the pier for pre-wedding photos, and the pier broke and everybody oh fell in. Oh, my God. They were waist high in water. What great well, photos, though. Uh, I know. Yeah. I, mean, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, they, they did catch it on photos, so that's, that's great. But. Well, we've got to take a break right now. We'll be right back with the Diet Doc talking about weight loss. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming at the Pink Poodle on Odana Road on the west side of Madison. And later we'll talk with the owners about how to do consignment in their store. But first we're going to talk about weight loss. And with the holidays fast approaching and all the candy in the <laughs> aisles now for Halloween, yes. it's probably not a bad idea for us to start thinking a little more seriously about our midsections or our hips. <laughs> and with us we have Tori Penn the Diet Doc of Madison. Welcome, Tori, and Hi. thanks for coming on to the show. Thank you very much, I appreciate you. Appreciate Tell us what Diet Doc is and how can you help us? <laughs> um, the Diet Doc is basically a program that was created by Dr. Joe Klemensky over 20 years ago, and it's a, just a program that's based on individuals for individual because everybody's metabolisms are different. So it's based on individual people, it's based on flexibility, and it's also based on science. And just simple by that is, the, the, one of the few things that miss out there is carbs at night will, are bad for you. It's a total myth. So this program is based on science, so it helps clear out a lot of those misconceptions that people have. Love it when stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. love, love it when you have science as a yeah. backing up your data. Yes, awesome. yes. absolutely. So um, I have to admit that I'm guilty of this as well. Mm -hmm. But can you tell us why 90% of um, people in our country have a failure rate of gaining weight back after they've lost it? For sure, yeah, I, it was a, it's a crazy statistic. Um, but one of the biggest main reasons for that is that the programs that are out there, majority of them are, they're cookie cutter, and they restrict people. So the problem is, is that if I say, hey, you have to give up your certain food or treat or sweet or whatever that you enjoy, sure, we can do that for three months, five months, six months. But during that process, we start really thinking about, oh, I can't wait till I can have ice cream, I can't wait till I have pizza. Well, mm -hmm. then that problem comes, we, we reach our goal, and then what happens? Now we overindulge, now we start having pizza every single night, or we start having ice cream more occasionally. Before we know it, all that weight that we just tried to work so hard for is put back on again. We felt sure. deprived. Yes, exactly, <laughs> yeah, and, that, yeah. and I, I'm guilty of it too. So yeah. You almost intensify that craving by telling you yourself do. you, you can't, can't have, have it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How many times do you hear that? Oh, I can't wait till I'm off this diet because I can't, I can't wait to have cheesecake again, or I can't right. wait to have a hamburger it's not again. sustainable. Exactly, right. and so that's where this program, it teaches people that we don't, we shouldn't have to give up any of the things. Everything that we have in to moderation. Do. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we talked before we started about a statistic. I had to ask if this was true, but Tori, is it true? Fifty percent of Americans are going to be obese. This is the trend mm -hmm. by 2030. Fifty percent. Yes. As of right, as of right now, that was at least that. It was probably even higher since that even came out. It's just, it's That's unreal crazy. as as we keep going. It just right. you look at people nowadays, and you and just kids look at too. you look at. The, kids. I yeah. mean, how many times do you go places and you see children? And it just, it's a shame that you know they're overweight and and how is that going to affect their childhood and as they grow up and things? So, it's shocking. Mm -hmm. right? That's shocking. So lots of people try to lose weight and there's lots of obstacles. What are three of the biggies that uh, people trip over? And Yes, uh, I would definitely think the first one is, where do I start? There's so many different things out there. There's so many, Google something and, oh, this program works and this. Well, where do I start a program at? You know, yeah. so the very first one is, where do I start? You know, the second one is, you know, the, the, the restrictions that people have. Oh, I don't, I, I want to lose weight, but I don't really want to give up the things that I have. Yeah. And then probably the, thir the third one is, you know, great, I've lost this weight, but I always gain it back. So I, I, it's hard because I just, I yo-yo diet. I go up and I lose weight, I feel great, and all of a sudden I look back five months later, now I put it all back on again, now I've got to try a different program because that obviously didn't work. And you beat yourself up. Exactly, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, what can the Diet Doc Madison offer? What three results can you offer these people? For sure. Um, the first one would be where to start. I lay out a nice plan, structured, catered to in each individual, and then I also will guide them along the way through the entire process for every question that they have. Mm. Two, not being able to limit our food or choices. I can help people not have to give up the foods that we enjoy, but still achieve those, achieve those results that we want to. And then third, permanently keeping those results off. So how do we maintain that results after we achieve that and be able to keep that the rest of our lives? Sure, yeah. All good news. That all sounds like things we need help with. So that's that what I'm here for. Right. Just wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Tori. So this is Tori Penn. Check him out, the Diet Doc of Madison. Next, we have uh, Brandy from Brandy's Bridal. So if you or someone you know is in the market for a bridal gown, bridesmaid dresses, or even a prom dress, you're going to get the inside scoop of what's hot and what's not for 2015. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to Girl Talk and welcome back to the fabulous, fabulous Pink Poodle. We're here with the gorgeous and ever so elegant Brandy Niemer of Brandy, Brandy's Bridal Galleria. Welcome back. Thank you for having me again. It's always a pleasure. Yes. So what's going on this time of year at Brandy's? We have lots going on this time of year. We're actually vamping up for our big November sale. Um, we have it once a year typically and you get 10% off of bridal gowns. We have huge discounts throughout the whole store, like dresses starting at like $10. Oh my gosh, oh, crazy. Yeah, so, um, so we're getting ready for that, which is November 13th through the 16th. Um, and we also have an event coming up during that time, that Friday and Saturday, November 14th and 15th, which is called Brides Across America where we do an operation wedding gown, where we give away free dresses to um, females that are either in or their fiancés are in the military and have served oh, in the last nice. five years. Cool. Um, so it's, it's in conjunction with Brides Across America, um, but we are a location that also sponsors it. So if you're interested and there's girls out there that are looking for a great dress that they can just take home with them that weekend, it's first come, first serve, um, but you have to register through bridesacrossamerica.com and you can pick our location to come to. So we're oh, excited. Right. It's a great event. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, what a really great neat. sale. You want to probably get there in the earliest days for the best yes, selection for that too. That's true with those too. Prices, mm -hmm. so. Yes, Fun. definitely. Love that. Yay. So crazy that it's November already, but <laughs> gearing up for 2015, what are you seeing for trends for bridal, ground, bridal gowns for 2015? Yeah, well we just got back from a few different markets mm -hmm. and we're seeing lots of fun trends coming back now. Um, bridal gowns with the sleeves and they even have like lace sleeves with cutouts in them where we haven't seen that in years. Yeah. Um, and then getting into a lot of chunky beading mm -hmm. and textured fabrics that are just really, really fun and really different and unique. Um, with bridesmaids dresses, kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Girls are wanting a lot more beading on them. Um, illusion fronts, illusion backs. Yeah. And then we did prom too, so there's lots of fun things for 2015. Exciting. Yes. Lots to look forward to for bridal. It sounds like some things we haven't seen in a while. Mm -hmm. Kind of coming back, that seems to be mm -hmm. the theme lately. Right, yeah, but, definitely. But um, let's talk about bridesmaids too. Is there yes. anything fun to tell us, you know, sneak peek 2015 yeah. there? It was great to see a few different things when we were at markets like prints are really coming back in now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy to think, um, you know, not necessarily like for a whole party, but you'll see a lot of parties that'll do just a maid of honor in the print and then they'll do the rest of the party in like complimentary colors. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a smaller party where there's three or four girls, they like the prints too. And there are tons of designers now doing prints for bridesmaid mm -hmm. dresses, which is kind of fun to see something That's completely awesome. different. Yeah, right. I don't really know that is. I've ever yeah. seen that. No, yeah. I haven't. That's very cool. New stuff. Yes. Good. So <laughs> homecoming it. is just ending mm -hmm. and the next big event is going to be prom. What have you seen for prom dresses at these markets? Yeah. Oh my gosh. These markets were fantastic just because of all the new thing and get or new things, I should say. Um, again, we're seeing prints and prom dresses where, um, you know, for the, for the Madison, Southern Wisconsin area, it's something a little different for prom, yeah. Yeah. but it's still really neat to, re neat to get those in. Um, and with prom dresses, you know, there's the full poofy ball gowns just with lots of chunky beading and seat Sequence. Um, we also see have seen a lot of the fun sheath dresses in just awesome, bright, bright, crazy fun colors. So lots of fun trends. For so me, it was always the more glitter, the better. Yes, right. the more sparkles, yes. the better. We love our bling. We yeah. do. That's right. Especially at that age. <laughs> right. That's the age you can get away with it, right? You right. Yeah. Do you have to do it while you can. Yeah. <laughs> so if people are excited and they want to check out these new looks, mm -hmm. uh, when are you going to be getting all this into your store? Sure. Well, it's kind of like Christmas every day right now at our mm -hmm. store, um, but typically, we're slowly getting in the things now, um, but by December, January, we should have most of our new prom dresses in, bridal gowns, bridesmaids, mom's okay. dresses. It's, it's all coming in then, so we're crazy mm -hmm. trying to get it all on the floor, but about December, January, it will be, most of it will be in our store. Okay, good to Excellent. know. Yeah. Yeah. Great. great. Well, it was so fun having you, Brandy. Thank and you for having all us. All kinds of great things we look forward to in 2015. We always yeah. love getting your insight, and what a great sale Thanks. you're having too. Thank you. So we'll yes, have to come fun. check that out. Yeah. And try and get in there quick, right? With That's all the good right. merchandise. Absolutely. Make sure you right. to make an appointment, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. We do go by appointments for that. Thank you so Thank much you. for being mm -hmm. here. Stay tuned mm -hmm. to Girl Talk. We're back with the Pink Poodle, learning how to uh, how the consignment process works.
Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are filming today at the Pink Poodle, and now the segment you've been waiting for, we're gonna get the inside scoop from Joe Testa here about the consigning process. So if you've got some items in your closet that you're ready to clean out, you don't wanna miss this segment. We get the 101, consignment 101 from Joe right over here. Welcome, Joe. Thanks for having us. Well, thank you very much, and we are really pleased that you could be here and ready to just make this uh, very user-friendly so that someone knows how this process works and really how simple it is to just bring things in and have it checked out and, and go on with their day. Absolutely. So let's do a little role-playing here. Sure. We walk in the door. We have our very first customer. What does this look like? Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Are you a new consigner? I am. I've you never are. Been okay. Before. Well, we're going to start yeah. first by getting you logged in right here at this counter. Okay. And tell me your last name. Crescent. Okay. And first Jay. initial? J. J. Okay. So we have today's date. You're number 15 today, but you're new. So I'm just going to mark that on here. Okay. All right. Now, you're going to take this sheet and this clip. Take the outer sleeve of uh, each outer garment. And when you get down to where I'm directing you, put them on the rack oh, okay. and take this clip and put those two sleeves together. And everything in between that is yours. And that's how we identify your belongings before we even begin the process of reviewing them. Okay. So if you look right down here, you'll see a pink disco ball hanging from the ceiling. Okay. okay and that's where you're going to take them. Beth is down there and there's a rack and that's where she'll re review your clothes. Okay. So the rest of the consigning takes place over there. That's Let's right. go check it out. All right, we're over here now under the famous pink disco ball where Janet will consign her items, finish the consignment process. So now we know that she needs to clip her first and her last item over here on the rack. So she's gonna do that with the paper that Joe gave her. And that lets them know which items all belong to her so that nothing gets lost here at the Pink Poodle. We're gonna talk to Beth Testa now, who's gonna give us the inside scoop on how the rest of the process works. Hi there, how are you today? So, Hi, good. now what we wanna know, Beth, is basically once we get over here, how long does it take once our items are in the receiving area? Okay, um, according to how many people are here, it's usually anywhere from five to 15 minutes. Okay. And I usually ask the consigners to walk around, take a look at what we have, and I will review their items, see what I can take and what I can't take. Okay, so Janet can kind of go and come back while we figure things out here. And how do you keep track of a person's belongings? Well, that's why we are really emphatic on clipping the first and last pieces so that no one can take or the items get mixed up with other people's things. So what I do is I, we always ask that they come in on hangers so that we can review them easy on the rack, get a good look at them. A lot of times um, people bring cocktail dresses in and they've had a good time at their events and there are spots and things on. So we're very particular about what we take and we're looking for condition, we're looking for color, we're looking for labels. Labels are very important. Our customers love label clothing. Here we have a Karen Kane top, which probably originated, uh, retail was probably about $78 to $88. We'll probably put $24.99 on it. Okay. And how, let's talk a little bit about pricing. So you, that you mentioned that you're gonna put $24.99 on that one. What kinds of factors play into that? Is that mostly the labels and condition? Labels, condition, color, um, appropriate uh, time of year for the garment. Um, and how quickly, once we do that, are my things processed and then put out on the floor? Uh, those items, according to um, how many people we have, we usually have at least 50 consigners each day, and we take in anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 pieces over two days but I like to have them out on the floor by the next day. Okay, so let's go check out some of the items that were the no thank you items sure. from the consignment. Sure. So you have some of these over here. And what things are you looking for? How did these get here? These items are here because they um, are a little too old, uh, very wrinkly. 
um, been washed a little too much mm -hmm. and uh, the current labels and condition is basically why they've ended up over okay. here. Okay, and we appreciate that as customers. So you help us filter through so that when we come, we don't have to sift through some older items right. that aren't really in style. Right. But you've just got con some consignments that are awesome. Some new things that hit, come in now for fall. Let's kind of right. touch on some of these items. Everyone is after boots. These are a beautiful pair of Donald Pliner boots that have come Gorgeous. in. Uh, retail was $4.75. We will put um, $1.79 on those. Wow. Brand new. Huge savings. Uh, these are Stuart Weitzman all weather boots that they come out with the same fabric. Different style every year. These are about $4.50. And let's get really quick to the Chanel's. I've been sure, kind of eyeing those. Talk sure. To me about these that. are brand new Chanel shoes, retail at least seven or eight hundred. We will put two fifty on those wow. for sure. That's outstanding. And some gorgeous winter coats. This here is a too. beautiful henna K. Uh, shearling coat that came in, the receipt was in the pocket, 2300 oh We put $9.99 on that one. Beautiful color. This is a beautiful faux suede with a real fox color on the hood, which would be great for winter, $59.99. Wow. Gorgeous things that came in for fall. Now, uh, our consigner was shopping around a little bit. Last, I want to end on how do we know when our items have sold and how do we get paid for those items? Okay, now that she's completed her consignment agreement, she'll get a little slip like this, tells her how to go online, check her balance. Um, she then can call up and receive a check and we can let her know at that time what items have sold. Wow, outstanding. So we can get a check for it or we can just keep it in the bank for some of these awesome new fall finds right, that right. you've had coming in. They can in. use it at checkout. Love that. Well, Beth, thank you so much for walking us through this process, demystifying the consignment process. We appreciate it so sure. much. Thank you. And thanks to our guests and thank you for watching. That's all for Girl Talk for today. Please join us next time.